Hello children, welcome class 5th standard, subject mathematics. This is continuation of unit 5 and the unit name is fractions. The next subheading of this unit is comparison of fractions. So here the fraction numbers will be given. You have to compare it and say which is greater and which is smaller. So a note. Greater the denominator, smaller will be the value of the fractional number. So for the given fractional number, we should check the denominator. If the denominator number is smaller than the other fractional number, then that number is greater. Okay. Greater the denominator, smaller will be the value of the fractional number. If the denominator number, if it is greater, then that number will be what? Smaller than the other number. In the denominator, if the number is greater, then that number is what here? Smaller. Then the other number will be greater, which is having the smaller denominator. For example, here, 4 by 13 is lesser than 4 by 9. So if you see in the denominator for first fractional number, it is 13. And next fractional number, if you see in the denominator, the number is 9. So for both, if you see for first, it is 13 in the denominator and second, it is in the denominator, it is 9, number 9. So here, which is having greater here? the first number, the first fractional number, that is 4 by 13. So here, in the denominator, the number is 13. It is more than 9. So 4 by 13 is less than 4 by 9. So greater the denominator. Here, 13 is what? In the denominator, and it is greater. So that value, whole fractional value, that number will be less, lesser. So that the next 4 by 9 will be greater. So here, what is given note? Greater the denominator, smaller will be the value of the fractional number. So for if you check, if you compare both the numbers 4 by 13 and 4 by 9, in the denominator, the first fractional number is 13 in the denominator, and next fractional number in the denominator, it is 9. So here, the greater number is what? 13. So the whole fractional number 4 by 13 is lesser than 4 by 9. So symbolically we write as 4 by 13 is less than 4 by 9. So in the denominator, if the number is greater than the other fractional number, then that number will be lesser. So for in the given example here, 4 by 13, here 13 in the denominator, it is greater than the given fractional number 4 by 9. So when you compare both the denominators, 13 and 9, here 13 is greater. So the whole number 4 by 13 is lesser than 4 by 9. So when in the denominator, if the number is greater, then that whole fractional number will be lesser than the other fractional number. So in the given example, 4 by 13, here in the denominator, it is 13. 13 means more. It is greater than 4 by 9. In 4 by 9, in the denominator is 9. Here 13 is greater than 9. So it is bigger. So when it is bigger in the denominator, then that whole fractional number will be lesser. That is 4 by 13 is less than 4 by 9. So therefore, 4 by 13, lesser symbol, 4 by 9. Okay. So here the note is greater the denominator, smaller will be the value of the fractional number. The next note, smaller the denominator, greater will be the value of the fractional number. This is vice versa. That is in the denominator, if it is smaller, then that number will be the greater fractional number. For example, 5 by 7 is greater than 5 by 9. So in both the fractional number, if we check in the denominator, for first number, it is 7 in the denominator. For next fractional number, it is 9 in the denominator. 
So which fractional number in the denominator, the number is smaller, then that whole fractional number is greater. So when you compare both 5 by 7 and 5 by 9, in the denominator, the first is 7 and the next is 9. So which is here smaller? 7. So 5 by 7 is greater than 5 by 9. So the given note was what? Smaller the denominator, greater will be the value of the fractional number. So when you check here, 7 is smaller. So whole fractional number 5 by 7 is greater than 5 by 9. Okay. So when you are comparing both the numbers 5 by 7 and 5 by 9 in the denominator, the number should be smaller. If it is smaller, then that whole fractional number is greater. So when you are comparing both the numbers 5 by 7 and 5 by 9, here 7 is lesser. So that whole fractional number 5 by 7 is greater than 5 by 9. So therefore, symbolically we write as 5 by 7 greater symbol than 5 by 9. So 5 by 7 is greater than 5 by 9. Okay. This was a note. Next, we go through the examples with the figures. Look the shaded parts of the figures. So here two figures are given with the shaded parts. The first figure, there are totally how many parts? Three parts. Out of three parts, two parts are shaded. So we write the fraction as 2 by 3. For the next figure, totally there are how many parts? Five parts. Out of five parts, four parts are shaded. So we write the fraction as four by five. Totally there are five parts. Out of five parts, four parts are shaded. In the first figure, totally there are three. Out of three parts, two parts are shaded. So first we write the fraction for first figure as two by three. And for the next figure, we write the fraction as four by five. So when we compare both the numbers, fractional numbers. So in the given figure, which part is greater? So we have to find in both the figures, which part is greater? So therefore, 2 by 3 is greater than 4 by 5. So here we have to check in the denominators of both the numbers, which is lesser. So which number is lesser than that part will be the greater one. So for first figure, it is 2 by 3. And next figure, it is fractional number 4 by 5. So when you are checking both the fractional number in the denominator, the which is the lesser number, that will be the greater one. So the lesser number is here 3. Means that fractional number 2 by 3 will be the greater number, greater fractional number than 4 by 5. So here in the denominator, for the next figure, it is 5. 5 means it is greater. 3 is lesser. So the whole fractional number 2 by 3 is greater than 4 by 5. So therefore, symbolically, we write as 2 by 3, the greater symbol, 4 by 5. Okay. So 2 by 3 is greater than 4 by 5. Okay. We should check in the denominator that which number is smaller. So when you compare both and we check here, 3 is smaller than 5. So then 2 by 3 will be the greater number. So in the denominator, which is a smaller number, that whole fractional number will be the greater one. So for the given example, 2 by 3 is greater than 4 by 5. This was the first example. The next one, which shaded part is greater here? So the figures are given. We have to write the fraction num fractional numbers and then compare it and say which is greater one. So to check the greater one, we will check in the denominator numbers of both the fractional number, which is a smaller one in the denominator, which is a smaller in the denominator number, that fractional number will be the greater one. So for the given figures, the first figure, totally there are how many parts? Four parts. Out of four parts, how many parts are shaded? Three parts are shaded. So we write the fraction as three by four. Totally four parts out of four parts, three parts are shaded. Total number of parts in the denominator, shaded parts in the numerator. So for the next figure, totally there are how many parts? Totally there are eight parts. Out of eight parts, how many parts are shaded? Two parts. 
so total number of parts in the denominator and number of parts shaded in the numerator okay total number of parts in the denominator and number of parts shaded in the numerator so for the second figure the fractional number will be 2 by 8 so for the first figure the fractional number is 3 by 4 and for the second figure the fractional number is 2 by 8 so when we compare both the fractional numbers we should check in the denominator numbers of both the fractional number which is having the smaller number that number will be the greater one so when you compare both the fractional number and check which is greater so we we have to check the denominator number should be the smaller number then that whole fractional number will be the greater one so when you compare both the first one three by four here in the denominator it is four and for the next one it is eight so when you compare 4 and 8, here 4 is less. So the whole fractional number 3 by 4 is greater than 2 by 8. Okay. In the denominator, the number should be lesser. So for the first figure, it is less because 4 is less than 8. So here whole fractional number 3 by 4 is greater, which is having the lesser denominator, then that fractional number will be the greater one. So therefore, for the given figures, when you write the fractional number, here the first one, that is 3 by, the first figure, that is 3 by 4 fractional number is greater than 2 by 8. Because in the denominator, the number is lesser here. Means it is less than 8. Less than 8 means the lesser number will be the greater one. So therefore, 3 by 4 is greater than 2 by 8. So symbolically, we write as 3 by 4, greater symbol, 2 by 8. So therefore, 3 by 4 is greater than 2 by 8. Okay, children, go through this examples, solve it and practice it. We'll continue this unit in the next video part. Thank you.